Today we're taking water out of the well. How do we do that with no pump? Watch and you shall see. This is our baler bucket. How does it work? It's a PVC pipe with a check valve on the bottom. So you lower this down into the well and it fills with water and then you strong arm it up to the surface. I will demonstrate how it works. All right, so we're gonna take the cover off the well. This is probably not the best way to get water because this isn't sanitized, so you're introducing probably a lot of bacteria and you know whatever bugs were crawling on this. But for our purposes, we're just using it for dish water. It looks like our fire went out over there. Um, we're boiling it. We are using it for the shower, but I figure if we're gonna go swim in some local water, it's probably not nearly was clean so probably doesn't matter too much but anyway so I have a safety line attached to this in the event that the main rope breaks um, so this is how we do it luckily our static level is about 15 feet so I couldn't imagine doing this from 100 feet down. But just wait for it to fill up. It's really hard to see down there, otherwise I would show you what it looks like, but and you just drag it up. So, I made this and I'm not an expert at anything. Um, the theory was that you're supposed to be able to push up on this carriage bolt and water will come out the bottom. It will open up that check valve. But it doesn't work like that because I cut the gasket wrong. So, after two tries I said, yeah, whatever, we'll just dump it out. Um, Dumping it's faster. It's, yeah, yeah, it is a lot quicker. I think the most we've taken out of here is probably about 10 gallons at one time. It's not a ton. How much does each baler full take out? I believe this is about two gallons. Um, This is a two and a half gallon bucket, right? Um, I think. Or is it three? Might be a three gallon bucket. Here's our water for dishes. The archaic way.